Got to just start off with a couple of details. 1857, it doesn't start off as a confectionery shop in Belgium. It's a pharmacy. What's going on? It was a pharmacist, Mr. Jean Nijhaus, and in those days, uh, medicine was, had a very, very bad taste. So one day he got the idea of enrobing the uh, bad tasting medicine with chocolate. Eh? So at least you had something that sweetened the pill. And then one day he said, instead of taking something that has a bad taste, let me make a cream that tastes well and enrobe it with something else, chocolate that tastes well. And that is the origin of the praline. So Mr. Jean Nijhaus actually invented the, uh, the praline. The praline. All right. So the praline is something that is distinctive to Nijhaus. Obviously, it is more popular all over the world as well. Where is the biggest market now for uh, luxury chocolate? Amazingly enough for us, it still remains Belgium, despite the fact that Nijhaus is now available in more than 50 countries. Eh? But Belgium still can't get enough of it either. Eh? And where is the biggest expansion happening? Biggest expansion between Germany, between the United States, of course, and uh, also Japan and China. The different tastes, do you have different types of combinations of taste for different markets? Some markets have preferences, but on purpose in the luxury atmosphere, we do not adapt the recipes to countries. We want to have the genuine product distributed all over the world. And that's why we still produce, Naiho still produces everything in Belgium. What characterizes luxury chocolate as opposed to, let's say, ordinary, everyday chocolate? It's the uncom uncompromising search for quality ingredients and then having the top chocolatiers to be able to put them together, uh, but the, and, and without any compromise on top ingredients. From Is it getting more difficult to source the high-end uh, cocoa? It is sometimes difficult, as sometimes there are scarities and sometimes uh, there is speculation, uh, but we never give in on that one. Now, you also have added a kind of twist when it comes to whiskey in chocolate. Tell us about this. Well, chocolate is a highly gastronomical product in its top quality, and uh, it goes very well together with a number of drinks and, among other top quality whiskey. And that's how we're talking with a couple of friends at a couple of sommeliers of top restaurants. Uh, we said, why not do something together with whiskey and to look at the pairing between my house chocolate and whiskey? And that's how that passion started. How much should people expect to spend if they want to buy a box of good luxury Belgian chocolate? Uh, they would spend anything between, I would say, 25 to $150. Do you have a favorite chocolate? Most definitely. And it's called the Tentation, which in English is Temptation. It was a chocolate that was invented for the World Exhibition in Brussels in 1958. Uh, we still make it completely by hand. And it's also one of the favorite chocolates, actually, of our royals. 